Today I will discuss about community health. Community health is a major field of study within the medical and clinical sciences which focuses on the maintenance, protection and improvement of the health status of population groups and communities. It's a distinct field of study that may be taught within a separate school of public health or environmental health. So you may ensure when I will say about who that means WHO's definition about community health. What they say? WHO defines community health as environmental, social and economic resources to sustain emotional and physical well-being among people in ways that advance their aspirations and satisfy their needs in their unique environment. Clear? Yeah. So now I'll discuss some question about community health by which you will be beneficial. Let's go. What is health and its importance? You must need to know. Health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. For a healthy life cycle, a person needs to have a balanced diet and has to regularly exercise. One must also live in a proper shelter, take enough sleep and have good hygiene habits. Why is the health of the community important? Communities that are attentive to public health can even reduce inequality among their residents. Community health also helps to reduce health gaps caused by differences in race and ethnicity, location, social status, income and other factors that can affect health, reports the CDC. How does health affect the community? For example, high levels of well-being are associated with decreased risk of disease, illness and injury, better immune functioning, speedier recovery and increased longevity. Individuals with high levels of well-being are more productive at work and are more likely to contribute to their communities. What is health in community and public health? Public health is the science of protecting and improving the health of people and their communities. This work is achieved by promoting healthy lifestyles, researching disease and injury prevention and detecting, preventing and responding to infectious diseases. How can the community improve health? Well, five ways you can improve health in your community. Number one, practice healthy habits with kids in your life. Number two, engage in your school's efforts to encourage healthy practices. Number three, learn more about the decisions local officials are making that impact your environment. And number four, give back healthy options to your community. What are the four? What are the four main influences on health? Well, our health is largely determined by the social, economic, cultural and physical environments we live in. Everything from where we work and live to our level of education and our access to healthy food and water. How can you promote health? Well, promoting health for adults. Number one, helping people who smoke quit. Number two, increasing access to healthy foods and physical activity. Number three, preventing excessive alcohol use. Number four, promoting lifestyle change and disease management. Number five, promoting women's reproductive health. Number six, promoting clinical preventive services. And number seven, promoting community water fluoridation. What are the 
eight factors that affect health very important question you should know number one in factors that affect your health status number two heredity number three quality of the environment number four random events number five health care number six behaviors you choose quality of your relationships number seven number eight decisions you make what are the seven determinants of health social determinants of health economic stability education access and quality health care access and quality neighborhood and built environment social and community context what are the three functions of public health the core functions of public health include number one assessment number two policy development and number three assurance last I will discuss about six disciplines of public health the core public health disciplines include biostatistics epidemiology health policy and management social and behavioral sciences and environmental health sciences thank you very much have a nice day or have a good night thank you bye for this moment